Hi, this is Tommy Hall with MathNook.com, and I'm here to give a quick overview on how to play our MathPup Measurement 2 game. If you're not familiar with MathNook, we have lots of free math games and teaching tools and fun games that you can play and use online, and there's never any membership or sign-up required, and everything's free to play and use. So if you're looking for this game on MathNook, you would go to the main page on MathNook, and you would look uh, towards the top, there's a listing of all the math skills, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, geometry, and so forth. And they're all in alphabetical order. They're text links. And um, you, in there, you'll find towards the end of the list is measurement games. And click on measurement, uh, the measurement games text link, and it'll take you to the measure, all our measurement games. And you'll find this game there to play. Okay, um, let's take a look at the game. This is when you first start it. This is the menu you'll see. The More Games button will take you to lofgames.com, which is our sister site. They also have um, math games and fun games to play online. And like Math Nook, there's never any membership or sign-up required, and everything is free to play and use. If you click the Video button, it will take you to the page on Math Nook that has this video in case you'd like to see it again. Instructions, I'm going to go over this, but I did want to point out this Reset Progress button. That's basically talking about the high score. If you want to reset it in case somebody else had been playing on, on your device and they had a high score and you kind of wanted to get your own high score, you would just click the check mark to get rid of high score and it will take you back to the main menu. If you click the X on that screen, then you'll just keep the existing high score and won't do anything. Okay, let's click play and it'll take you to this sub menu. And I'm going to show you the difference. With, um, I, I'm going to go through and show you how to play. Um, but I'll be only using inches. But I did want to show you the only difference between the centimeters, millimeters, and inches. Let's go ahead and look at centimeters, and you'll see this ruler is in centimeters, and the possible answers are in centimeters. Millimeters, same ruler as before, but you've got the answer in millimeters. So that's really the only difference there. Let's go ahead and look at the inches version, which we'll go ahead and play. And uh, the object of the game is to measure the object shown and uh, then choose which is the correct answer. Now, these are standard buttons here for the sound, turn the sound on and off, and turn toggle the music on and off. So anyways, the question how long is a highlighter? You have the dimension lines, which is really what you want to use to measure because this is like on any other uh, diagram. You might find these lines that show you the actual... Uh, dimension of the uh, of a particular object. So let's go ahead and put that up there. Let's line that zero right up on the left side and three. It looks like right at three inches. So there's three inches. It's correct. We get another one, another item measure, and we can measure that. And if we just actually I got that right. Okay, now I got one wrong, and it shows me which one I chose. It was wrong, and it shows me the right answer. If I <clears throat> excuse me, if I want to see it's kind of hard to see because you've got this little uh, game over box here. And it says try again, and you go to the menu or, or retry. But you can drag this. You say that it text says drag the box. And you can actually go and see. Drag it over here. You can see what your choice was. And I had chosen one and a half inches. It is two inches. So you can kind of use that to demonstrate uh, or to see what your... Uh, error you made was. So it's really a simple game to play. Um, let's go ahead and go back to the main menu here. Um, I, I hope you uh, have fun playing this game. I hope the videos help some. And uh, again, thanks for watching.